Hello guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 Online, let's call it that. I bought this game uh, a couple of weeks ago only, it was sort of to cover the gap between the Crew 1 and the Crew 2, which is postponed that release, so uh, we thought, yeah, with a few of us we bought the game and all my friends could go online and I could not go online. I was getting some issues. I was getting situations like this. I'm logged on on the Xbox Live app and it says internet connected, Xbox Live services up and running or active and working, something like that. And then you have your NAT type open, uh, moderate, or yeah, in case it's strict it might be a problem to get online as it is, but uh, if it's moderate or open it should not be an issue. Server connectivity connected. Latency 20 milliseconds or whatever and then uh, packet loss 0%. So according to this here we are connected to the internet, we are connected to the servers, and everything is fine. Well, at least that's how it looks. You have online features like the auction house, like rivals, you can download uh, or upload uh, setups for your car, liveries for your cars, things like that. So, in-game that all works fine, but as soon as you start a party here, try to get the party going, you get something like this. No connection can be made with the Xbox Live servers, and you get uh, an error code with it, 0 times 872 EFF. If you get something like that, that error code sort of refers to uh, an update which has gone bad or something like that, but it can also have some other meanings. For two weeks I've been trying to figure out a solution for this, I've tried everything. Uh, I've tried issues with Torito because I know some people were like, um, their server connectivity was blocked by the Torino, then there are other solutions, then you do not need to look at this video, because that's not the case here. What is the problem, or what was the problem? Internet Explorer. Seeing, hardly use it, uh, I use Chrome as my uh, browser, and in case Chrome doesn't work, then I use Microsoft Edge. But for some reason they still implement uh, Internet Explorer within in uh, Windows 10, so you think, well, well, why is that? Well, apparently it has to do with online features. So I had uh, Internet Explorer sort of uh, deleted. Which also means that uh, the first three steps here is uh, in case you have Internet Explorer not installed. So if you deleted it like I did, I deleted it, you have to reinstall Internet Explorer. How do you do that? You have to open an elevated PowerShell and um, that you pretty much do as if you look here, um, you can find Windows PowerShell. If you right click on that you can open it or run it as administrator. If you do that it will ask you if you want to run it, yes you will run it. And then you get something like this. That sort of, uh, and then you have to enable Windows optional feature feature name Internet Explorer optional AMD 64 all online, especially the online feature here. Probably you type in that uh, in the in the Windows PowerShell, or you copy and paste it from this. Uh, I will put this in the description. This whole text here in the description of this video, so you can just select this line and you copy and paste it uh, in here. You press enter, when you do that uh, it will ask you if you want to restart the computer and you press yes or y and you enter and the computer will restart and Internet uh, Explorer will be installed. In case you already have Windows or Internet Explorer installed then you do not have to do these three first steps. What you have to do is uh, the rest of the steps, and that means that is you have to click on uh, that screen here on the right bottom of your screen, it says network, internet access, things like that. You click on it, you will say uh, network connected, and then you have network and internet uh, settings. You click on that, and then something like this will open up, and then you have like uh, a network center, if you click on that, and then you get like uh, this sort of uh, page where you will see your Ethernet and everything like that. And also somewhere in there, in my case here on the uh, bottom left of my screen, it says Internet Options. If you click on that, you will get something like that. And then you will have uh, one of these tabs here says Advanced. If you click on that, 
you get something like this. So you get like a, a few things which are checked or unchecked. And then you have uh, advanced settings, reset the advanced settings, or you also have uh, settings for Internet Explorer, which you can also reset. Yeah, so you will have like two buttons, and it's the bottom button to reset the Internet Explorer. You click on that, and it will ask you to confirm or something like that, and you do that. You reset the Internet Explorer settings. That's what you do. And once you have done that, you will have something like this again. Go back to the Xbox Live uh, app thing. Uh, although the Xbox Live services are not up and running this time, well, they sort of are, but it says that some services uh, have some issues at this moment in time. But normally it just says uh, up and running or working and active, something like that. If you then click on here, you can start a party without any problem. You no longer get the uh, error code, you no longer tells you that you cannot go online or whatever, something like that. It just had to do with Internet Explorer. We go to the game itself, we should also be able to get an online session here. So uh, let's quickly try something. Uh, online free room, I guess. Finding an online free room session, as it always said in the top of it, but you get like a strange message there. Unable to connect to the live configuration service or something like that. Alert! Free roam session found. Enter to join the session. If I press enter here, I immediately join a session. It works like perfectly. I already tried uh, tonight with uh, Valaster. Sort of my teammate and uh, yeah, it worked perfectly. We can drive together now and the online works. So it's uh, yeah, two weeks. Two weeks searching for a solution and we came up with that. Uh, if you before try to get online into the game, then you got something like this. Unable to connect to the live configuration servers and you get like a support idea, a server idea. Quality of services was success, but then it says like zero locations, region failed, zero times zero. If you have something like this, you do not have Internet Explorer, uh, Internet, uh, Explorer installed, or you do have it installed, go by these options. If you don't have it installed, go to the PowerShell, uh, reinstall it if you do have it installed or once you have restarted your computer after installing it then you go to the network settings uh, internet options as I just shown in this video and you uh, reset the Internet Explorer settings afterwards it should be not a problem if you have other issues with Teredo blocking your internet or then there are other solutions you can find those uh, on the forums and, as and such but if you have the uh, like the same thing that I had, if I try to do an online free roam as I just shown in game, I would got something like this. It said uh, finding an online free roam session, and then eventually something like this popped up. Although it says quality of service success, it gave me zero locations and the region failed. That was uh, what I was getting in game, and on the. Uh, on the Xbox Live app itself, it says I was connected all over the place, but it still gave me this uh, code thing here and said that I could not connect to the live servers. It's all connected, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, Xbox Live app, apparently it's all connected, and this is the simple solution. Reinstall Internet Explorer, reset the settings, in case you have Internet Explorer, reset the settings through the uh, network thing here on the right bottom of your screen, as I just shown in this video. I will put uh, this whole text here on uh, will put in the description of this video so you can uh, see uh, what you had to do again as shown in this video and I will uh, have it also uh, posted here in, in sort of steps that you have to do uh, the first three steps is in case you do not have Internet Explorer um, installed then you first have to reinstall it that is how you do it and once you have restored it you go to uh, step 4 to 8 and afterwards the issue should be solved and you can play online with your friends in Forza Horizon 3 and probably also in other it's probably the same for uh, all of the Microsoft games it has to do with uh, it's all connected the Windows Internet the Explorer Xbox Live app you name it it's all connected I hope it helped some people because yeah for me it was like two weeks trying everything opening ports uh, reinstalling 
deleting, reinstalling, uh, antivirus, um, Teredo network adapters, uh, opening ports on my router, uh, disabling the IPv6. I tried everything that was out there uh, on forums that I got from Xbox support or from Microsoft support. None of them could tell me what it exactly was until I found this solution somewhere out there by some player who eventually found it himself and uh, was good enough to share it on some sort of help desk and I was just lucky to find it there so that I could get the solution going and could play online. I hope it helps some of you as well. In case it did, happy online racing. We'll see you guys in the next one and bye for now.